Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna design this Windows logo using Python, right? This is gonna be the very much fascinating video I have ever made, and this is the first time I'm explaining the code in my channel. So let's get started. So before that, the only prerequisite that you require is uh, the basic syntax of uh, Python language and how to create functions and uh, what are classes and how do we create objects. Rest all will be taken care by me. So you just need to understand the code and you just need to implement it. That's it. That's all the prerequisite that you require. So without any late, let's jump right into the video. Alright, I have already written the code. If you need this source code, you can follow me on GitHub and you can download the code. I'll put a link in the description box below. You, there you can download the code. And uh, what I'll be doing is I'll putting a comment for each and every line of code. And uh, while executing it, I'll uncomment and explain you the code. And again, I'll tell you what the things going on behind the scene, right? So this is what we're gonna do. And it will save your time and my time as well, right? So let's get started with this stuff. So guys, before moving forward, you need to examine how the Windows logo looks like, right? So you need to figure it out uh, the inclination, okay, the corner angles and the pixel size and all the dimension of the Windows logo, right? First thing is, this is not a rectangle and that is the point to be cleared. And the second thing is, it is, there is some inclination over here. So, okay, so let's just say six degrees. Okay, there is a small inclination over here. And this, at this corner, we have a 90 degree angle and all that, right? So first thing is you need to imagine this uh, logo and you need to figure it out, uh, the dimensions and uh, angle and all that, right? So let's move on to the code. So this is the first line of code. I'm going to uncomment it. So what this line of code uh, tells you is, first thing is import turtle. This turtle is a library. And uh, for simplicity, I'll say this, this is just a Python file. In this file we are having classes and we are having each class is having different methods so in order to access those methods inside this python file that you have created with this windows logo.py we need to import that library or we can say we need to import that python file okay so this turtle library we use to create graphics using in python so first thing is we need to import that file in order to access in order to create objects for the classes present in this file right so this is the first line of code now second line of code is just we are creating an object so this is a python file and in this python file we are having a class named as turtle so we are creating an object for this uh, class turtle right so you can say it's an instance okay so a class is nothing but uh, a blueprint of an object right so we are creating an object and for this class okay this turtle is a class present in this turtle file python file and we are creating an object for this class okay and in the next line of code we are creating an object for the screen so again this is the same thing we are creating an object for the screen class so we are having a screen class inside this python file and we are creating an object for that class right so in order to uh, in order to set the background color and all that uh, we have a class called screen inside this python file in this python file okay in this python library basically so we are creating an object so you can write any name uh, you can write and you can put your name as well for an object so for simplicity i took uh, t as a turtle object and s as for uh, screen object right and in the next line of code s dot background color and it takes one parameter since we have created the object for the screen class now we are uh, we can access the methods present in this uh, screen class right so background color is one of the uh, method present in this uh, screen class and now we can access with the object that we have created so this background color takes one parameter and uh, it, it may be the hex code okay it may be the hex code of any color or you can write a color name so uh, you can put black white anything you want and uh, I have uh, written the hex code for the color and basically what it will do is basically it will fill the background color to the color that you have passed as a parameter over here right all right guys so till now you understood these four lines of code and the next uh, one is the function that we can that we have to create and this is how we can create a function in python so def and the function name i picked up a random name called win and before explaining the function and i would like to run this and i'll show you what these four lines of code does basically so click on run run module 
and uh, as you can see there is an object a tiny object created over here which is in the form of a black color we can change the color as well so later on uh, while proceeding in this video you'll come to know how to change the color of this object and the background color is the same what we have provided over here in the form of a hex code right and the next one is this function and uh, i'll tell you the functionality uh, what does this function does so later on so let's move on and the next line of code is t.color uh, deep sky blue so as i told you we can change the color of a object right so this is the method which is present in this uh, turtle module or turtle class i'm sorry this turtle class and uh, by passing this parameter it will change the color so let me just execute it and show you how actually it does so as you can see the color is modified previously it was black and now it is deep sky blue because the windows color is in sky blue right so that's why i have used the deep sky blue so the next line of code is t.left this left is a method present in this uh, class and what it does basically is it will turn the object to left with some inclination that you provide over here so i have written the six degrees so let me just execute and tell you what exactly going on run module and you can see there is a uh, there is not a drastic change but you can't you can you can see there is a small inclination in six degrees right so you have to as i told you previously you need to think uh, while creating graphics you need to think how the logo looks like right so this windows logo will something uh, something will be in small inclination and will turn 90 degrees and all that right so you will come to know uh, more clearly when we proceed further in this video and the next line of code is t.begin fill i'll tell you the what is the what this line of code will do and the next line is t.fill color so as you can as you can remember the windows logo will will be filled with the deep sky blue color right so so we have to fill the windows logo with this color so fill color is a method present in this uh, turtle class so by providing this uh, deep sky blue as a parameter and we can fill the windows logo with this color right so t dot begin fill meaning is it will start filling the color so it will start filling the color before writing this uh, line of code we should write this t dot begin fill so if we not if we don't put this t dot begin fill line of code so it will not fill the color basically so this is must so so basically what this uh, t dot begin fill uh, stating is you just start filling the color okay this is what it uh, denotes okay you, if you don't write this t dot begin fill it will not uh, fill the color okay so once you understand once i execute the entire code you will understand if we don't write this thing what what will be the consequences that we're gonna face okay so the next one is win of 200 comma 96 so this is the function that we have created now we'll show you what exactly how, what is the fun what is the meaning of this or what this function does basically so win of 200 pixels with 96 uh, degrees right so this 200 is nothing but uh, the units are pixels okay so whatever you store whatever the image or movie that you see on a screen in a computer and the units of that uh, image or anything that you see on a computer is measured in pixels right so this is 200 pixels which is a length so it will go forward 200 pixels and turn right 96 degrees so let me just execute it run module okay so as you can see it it moved 200 pixels forward and turn 96 degrees so this is what we stated in this uh, function right so t dot forward with the length that we have passed in over here 200 pixels so it moved 200 pixel with some inclination that we have already did over here right t dot left 6 degrees and similarly uh, we'll uncomment the next line of code and uh, f5 save and execute so so you can see 150 150 pixel forward and turn 96 degrees again right it's slowly uh, picking up the shape of windows logo right so let me uncomment the next line and uh, let me do it uncomment run so as you can see it's again move forwarded 
and turn 96 degrees. So these uh, the parameters that what I have passed over here are calculated. So in case if you want to try, uh, you can put in any values. Okay, any random values you put in, uh, you will definitely you will not get the perfect shape of windows. But again, I tried maximum to get the windows uh, logo. Right? Let me uncomment the next line of code and execute. Okay, you can press F5 as well. Uh, so it move forward and turn. Okay, so as you can see, this is somewhat picking up the Windows logo, right? So let me uncomment the next line of code. T dot end fill. So, so basically, what this T dot end fill is saying that you just stop filling the color. So we started filling the color by executing this T dot end T dot begin fill method, right? So if you want to stop filling the color. We just need to use t dot end fill. So whatever the lines of code that you have written, it will start filling the color with this uh, with this fill color and the the color that we have passed over here as a parameter. So after this line of code, it will stop filling. It will not fill basically. And uh, this is what if you want to fill the color, you just need to start with t dot begin fill. And if you want to end the end filling the color. You just need to use t dot end fill method. So that's it. That's what this t dot end fill meaning is. So after this line of code, it will not again. It will not fill the color with this. Okay. It will draw some shapes, but it will not fill the color. So that's what this t dot end fill line of code will do. All right. Till now you understood till uh, t dot end fill, right? Let me just execute once again and show you once again. Uh, as you can see. We created the background only the only the part left is uh, we just need to create this uh, uh, windows right uh, the background part is done but we need to create only the windows right so let's just finish that okay so the next line of code is uh, t dot color so most of you might confuse about this t dot fill color and t dot color so let me clearly explain this t dot color is the object color okay the turtle that what we are seeing from uh, from the past time that is the object color okay so t dot fill color is the fill the color which we want to fill in this fill in the shape okay so we made a somewhat rectangular shape right we made the uh, windows shape right so in order to fill the color we have to use this uh, t dot fill color and in order to uh, change the color of the object we use this t dot color so t dot color again the same hex code of the background and I'll tell you why I use this hex code. And again, let's uh, uncomment this uh, window function. So window run. So as you can see, it moved forward, but you can't see because the color of the object and the background color is same, right? So it moved forward. Okay, it moved forward 100 pixels and turned 96 degrees. Again, I'll uncomment this uh, the next line of code execute f5 and so as you can see it moved forward turn 96 degrees and now this line of code is uh, move forward with 67 pixels and again turn 90 degrees right so we are closely coming towards this uh, windows logo right so let me uncomment the next line of code and uh, execute f5 save and execute forward again again you can see this is uh, so till now you understood right over this point you understood so after this it moved 100 pixel forward it moved 100 pixel forward and again turn 180 degrees back okay that's what we provided over here angle is 180 degrees so angle is 180 degrees meaning it will again shift back to the same direction that it came right so let me uncomment the next line of code win of 200 comma 180 degrees run save and execute okay it will take some time okay so the previous line of code is moving 100 pixel forward and turn 180 degrees back and now this what this line of code will do is it moved 200 pixel forward and again turn back into 180 degrees so after this line of code it again moved forward 100 pixels and again turned 270 degrees right right so this is what pretty much and it is a pre-calculated value so while i was coding this uh, while i was designing this i tried with different parameters and uh, i came up with these uh, 
parameters okay so not necessary but you can try it on your own okay you can pass any different values and uh, you can make the windows logo much bigger than me right so let's move on all right guys we left with only three lines of code and our windows logo is about to complete right so we just need to move forward some pixels and uh, the windows logo is ready right so th this is what this uh, line of code is doing t dot forward 140 pixels and i'll execute it f5 save and execute so we can speed up this process also we can speed up this uh, design process as well so as you can see our windows logo is uh, somewhat similar to the original one and uh, these are pre-calculated values so you can put it any values if you want but uh, definitely you need to figure it out on your own the calculation you have to do it on your own right so this is my uh, pre-calculated values so while i was uh, coding i i came up with these values and it it worked very well so as you can see it's somewhat uh, close to windows right uh, let's move on this the next line of code is t dot height total so what this method is saying that you can hide the object right so let me put it onto the top control x control v so previously you were able to see the object right but you now you can't see right it is hidden so this is what pretty much uh, done by this line of code and the next line of code is let me uncomment this and execute f5 save turtle dot exit on click so this this is the window right so if we press on this if we click on this window it will close so that is what this line of code is doing so that's all only 25 lines of code will produce this amazing output let me once again show you the output so as you can see this is what we designed okay so this is what the windows logo that we have designed so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you didn't end up liking this video hit that like button and subscribing to the channel is much appreciated and you can check the description for the source code link thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video